This video is about signed versus unsigned numbers. Now, we all know what numbers are, but I want to bring a slightly more uh, technical term, which is the word integer. Okay, so what's an integer? It's a whole number. And what's a whole number? 400, uh, 13, 21. These are all whole numbers. Okay, well, what's not a whole number? 1.45... 6.72, 100.3. Well, these are not whole numbers. These are numbers with decimals. We call them real floats, but we'll come to that another time. So, signed versus unsigned integers, which are whole numbers. Here are some integers. Now, how many of these integers here have a sign? Well, the answer is that one has a sign and that one has a sign, plus and minus. That one does not. So how many of these are unsigned? Well, the answer is this one. Clearly, there's no sign. OK, well, when we look at these numbers, what two words would you use to describe the value of this? Well, the answer is positive 7 because it has a plus and a 7. What two words would you use to describe the value of the next one? Well, the answer is negative 7. And finally, what two words would you use to describe the last one? Well, the answer is positive 7. OK, there's no way you can look at this last one and say, oh, that's minus 7. Not at all. When you look at that, it would always be a positive 7. So now that we've looked at those ideas, what does this mean? Well, a signed integer clearly can either be positive or a signed integer can be negative. This unsigned integer, well, can it ever be negative? And the answer is no. Whenever you look at an unsigned integer, it is always positive. And that's it. That's the difference between signed and unsigned integers. First question. Can an unsigned integer ever be negative? And the answer is no, an unsigned integer is always positive. What is an integer? Well, the answer is it's a whole number without a decimal. 